our show this week. Today we're here with our house food food writer Aiden. Hello, thank you very much for letting us come over. Now what are we making today? Uh, we're going to make cream cheese. That's it. And what's that? It's a cream dish. We use as a condiment, as a main, as a rice, and a fermented cabbage. Oh, sounds interesting. Alright, let's get cracking. So today we're going to be making kimchi. To begin with, you'll need a Chinese cabbage, some water, about 12 cups, cold water, some Korean red pepper powder. Now if you can't find it, you can use a substitute like I have, which is smoked paprika. We have some salted krill, a quarter of a cup of fish sauce, and about a quarter of a cup of soy sauce, minced garlic and minced ginger, about a cup of salt, a few teaspoons of sugar, a white Chinese radish, a large glass jar. So let's begin. Take the cabbage and chop the end off it. And cut it in halves and then into thirds and then segmenting. Now if you want to add it to the bowl, you want to salt it quite liberally because that will help with the fermentation process and it will stop any nasty bacterial growing. Okay. It helps the pH levels as well. Otherwise, you'd have a fermenting mess which wouldn't be edible. Once you've done that, you're going to want to add some cold water just to the point where it's submerged. Now, <coughs> ideally, you leave that for about 12 to 24 hours. Okay. And then take it and rinse it and drain it. I guess for the purpose of demonstration, we will assume has happened. Take the cabbage and water as we can off right now. Okay. So take the cabbage, which again would have sat for 12 to 24 hours. Yep. And then add the other <coughs> ingredients, in the soy sauce and the fish sauce. The pepper powder, minced garlic and ginger. Teaspoons of salted krill. Okay. And the radish. And some sugar. Okay. And then we combine these ingredients. At this point, you can add more salt if you wish, or more sugar. Now, it's more or less process of greater care than I just did there of adding it to the glass jar. About 24 hours at first outside the fridge. Yeah. Is that to let all the flavours develop and find the jar? Uh, no, it's probably to help with fermentation okay. again. Okay. Yeah. okay. So leave it about 12 to 24 hours, at which point gases might build up. Yeah. So you want to release the lid, just a little bit up. Yeah. Okay, and then at that point, you have kimchi, and then you can refrigerate it for up to, probably upwards of a month. Okay. And you have already have one prepared, don't you? Yes, I do indeed. And this is the, what it looks like when it's finished. Mm -hmm. And what can you use it in? You're saying you could pop, pop it in well, spring rolls? It's a very, 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 very popular green dish. It's a condiment, a main, it goes well with rice. You can yep. make all things up to it, including, say, tofu and kimchi. <coughs> Sorry. Tofu and kimchi dumplings. Awesome. Thank you very much, Aiden. Thank you.